Are you starting a YouTube channel? Are you in the beginning phases of your YouTube journey? In this video, I want to tell you about one of my favorite tools that I'm using right now to build my channel. I'll tell you how it has helped me and a few of the features I use the most. Look, if you're an analytics nerd like myself, if you find yourself looking at watch time and obsessing over thumbnails, TubeBuddy is for you. Let's get into the features. So instead of trying to describe to you all the features, I'm going to just give you a quick example or just give you a quick look at how I use it. So first thing I'll do is open up my browser. Here in the corner, you'll see the TubeBuddy extension. After you've downloaded it, it'll appear here at the top near the YouTube search bar. You just click on it here. And then this is the window for TubeBuddy. Over to the right, you'll see all the different options. The dashboard, I guess this is an option for if you do live streams. I don't do live streams, but if you into that, this tool right here will help you with your live streams. You can edit your playlist. You can take a look at all your comments on all your videos, respond to them probably all at the same time. I've never used it, but once I get more videos up, hopefully I'll get more comments and I'll be able to use that tool a little more. Here's the analytics button. Let's see what this does. So boom, here's my analytics from my personal page here. Okay, so let's go back. Extension tools. This is mainly what I use, the Keyword Explorer, SEO Studio, Video Topic Planner, Tag List, Best Time to Publish. This is great if you have a lot of videos and you're wondering, oh, should I publish on Monday? Should I publish on Wednesday in the afternoon? Maybe I should try Friday. Uh, this button here will just show you when your audience, all your fans or whoever, when they're actually watching the video so you don't have to guess about it anymore. And then here's some other tools you could probably take a look at. Launchpad, health report, that's basically your channel's health. It'll do a evaluation of your YouTube channel and give you a report. A-B testing, that's something I wanna get into once I put out more videos, just testing out different thumbnails, see which one performs better. Can responses, if you do have a large audience and you don't wanna to respond to every single comment, um, you can kind of have some pre-written responses. And okay, let's get into just making a new video. So I'm gonna go here to SEL Studio. Okay, so let's say, as you can see, here's some of my future topics that I've already typed in. Let's say I wanna make a video about R&B music. I'm gonna type in my keyword here and I'm gonna hit start. Now right now TubeBuddy is telling me my score would be 18% if I just left it as is. You can see I don't have much of a description. There's not much in the title. So let's just type in R&B music. One of my video series, the What Happened To series is where I kinda dive into some of these topics. So let's say what happened. What happened to R&B music? Whoops, hold on. We doing this live. What so just by adding R&B a couple times in the title, it's like dramatically changed my score a little bit. Well, still at 48%, Never mind. Okay, but over here, it'll tell you how to improve your score if you wanna get that up so that your video can be found easier when people go to search for anything related to R&B music. So next. Now here's where they've already suggested tags for me to use. So I'm just gonna click on some here, R&B music, R&B music video mix, R&B music videos 2000, I think that's a good one. It's a lot of playlists with old R&B songs. Boom, boom. So I'm up to 52% right now. So I'll hit next. And here's the thumbnail section, so you can see how your video might stack up to some of the most popular videos that are already on YouTube that have R&B in the title. So most of these are just playlists. So they don't really talk about the history or anything about R&B music. They're just kind of DJ mixes. So I think this is something I could probably rank for if somebody was into uh, searching for the history of R&B or more information on R&B music. And then the thumbnails, you can see they're not like great thumbnails, kind of basic playlist. 
DJ mixes, throwback R&B music. I'm gonna hit next. Here's a couple tips here off to the side, you know, that they give you. If you wanna make your thumbnail stand out, if you wanna make it pop a little bit, next. So that's pretty much how I use the SEL Studio. So when I'm all done with that video, if I were to make this video, I would just save it as a draft. And then when I go to upload, boom, everything is ready for me and I don't even have to think about it again because I've already done it. Boom, and then here's all my drafts from previous videos. You can see here some of my other videos. Just through your social media, that's one and I think I'll end up doing and I've already optimized it. So it's at 99%, so I'm happy with that. I'll probably add some more to the description, but you can see here the tags for this video. It even includes misspelled tags because you know some people misspell things when they're searching for videos. Haven't created a thumbnail yet, but again, the thumbnails aren't like that great. Just kind of basic pictures. This is the most viewed video right now, looks like. So I'll probably watch that, take some notes, see what he did and try to improve on it. So that was just a walkthrough of how I use it. Just a live look over my shoulder of how to use the SEO studio. I mean, you've got title and descriptions, tags, thumbnails. So it pretty much walks you through the whole process of getting your video optimized before you even upload. So that's basically how I use TubeBuddy. Uh, drop me a comment in case you wanna see something more on TubeBuddy or just how I use the tool or even any tools basically that I'm using to help me build my channel. So stay tuned and more videos on the way.